Hi guys, uh, today I would like to talk about perfection and uh, aiming for perfection, aiming for perfection. Um, yeah, as an artist or as a tattoo artist, I think uh, we can all relate to this aiming for, for perfection. Pulling the perfect line, doing the perfect shades, packing the perfect fields of colour, blending, all these kind of techniques that we do that make up an image. And we all know the challenges that we face. Every person is different, every skin type is different. Every situation on the body is different and perfection in the world of tattoo is a really hard thing to attain but it's not only such a hard thing to attain in the world of tattoos a hard thing to attain in just everyday general life and I remember somebody once saying that perfection, to be perfect, has to incorporate everything, otherwise it can't be perfect, and so therefore if it has to incorporate everything, it has to incorporate imperfection as well. So maybe a part of us has to accept that there is a level of imperfection. Because I, I always, whenever I look at my work, I always look at the imperfection. I find it very hard to find the perfection in my work. Um, I think that's a challenge for me to, to find the perfection. I always just see the mistakes. I always see what I could have done better, what I wish I'd done better. But I try and take that on every time and, and learn from it. So I think it's a st constant striving for this perfection. And we have that in life as well, you know, we have that in our relationships, we have that in our daily lives, all of us. It's a non-going thing. It's not like you get there and you say, right, well, I've reached perfection and that's it. I don't ever have to try anymore. I don't have to strive anymore because I'm there, I've been there, and I'm, I'm, that's it. Because it isn't like that. Every day is a new challenge. Every day is a, a new set of circumstances and emotions and ideas and, yeah, challenges. So we have to rise to them every day. And I, I'm a person that likes challenge. I like challenge very much. I don't think I'd be living the way I live, out in the mountains, off grid, um, you know, with no mains water, no mains electricity. Um, far away from the rest of we call civilization, not that I see it as very civilized to be honest. However, I think that it's something that I, I get off on. I get off on the challenge. I think that when things, for me anyway, when things are too simple and too easy, I kind of lose interest and become a bit bored. I like challenge, I like to feel like there's something to overcome. I don't want to make my, I don't want to make problems though. I don't need to make problems because they, challenges come. I don't even want to call them problems because, you know, every day things come anyway. We're not like robots, where we function exactly the same every day. 
Sometimes we feel like, you know, we don't feel as inspired as others. Sometimes we feel, you know, as if we've got, you know, we're not feeling well. Sometimes we feel drained, confused, all kinds of stuff comes in and tries to, well, well not tries, but with the potential to throw us off this aim for perfection, this target. And I, I set my targets really high. And consequently, I often fail. But I like setting them high as well. I like setting my targets high. I like pushing myself. And I like jumping in the deep end. I think it's, for me, a, a great way to feel stimulated and feel my life force. Because really, when we're talking about perfection, that perfection really, only really exists inside of us. The breath, the breath is perfect. The spark of life is perfect, you know. And I think when we remember the breath and we remember the spark of life in our actions, in our daily actions, that's when we set ourselves these targets of a kind of, of a certain quality, of a certain standard. And we don't settle for second best. We're always looking for the best. We always want the best. We know that we're not always going to reach the best. We know we're not always going to achieve our ambitions and our goals. But that doesn't mean to say we stop trying, you know, or I stop trying. And that's that's the beauty of being a perfectionist, if you like. Being a perfectionist. It's really frustrating at times, because sometimes you just realize the nature of what you're dealing with. There is no perfection, you can't reach it. But that doesn't mean to say you don't still don't try, you still don't look. And it makes you do the best you can. It makes you be the best you can be. And that's something that I really, really appreciate. I really appreciate that with, in other, with other people when I deal with other people and I come across other people that give their best and inspire me more to give my best and to reach for that perfection. Okay guys, that's it. Just wanted to talk about that really and uh, wish you all a very good day. I'm just now approaching my, uh, my little town where my studio is set up and um, maybe I'll do a, do a little video of my studio soon. Anyway, thanks for listening, thanks for watching. If you've got any questions or any ideas for, for future videos, uh, please put them in a comment. Um, and as they say, if you like this video, hit, hit the like, and if you want to hear more, please subscribe, and uh, we'll be connected even more, That which would be great. So, uh, love and light, and speak to you on the next one. Ciao.